today we're going to take a look at our U block. Okay, I'll give you a second in order to get this out of your binder. Okay, for our U block, what we're going to be taking a look at is reading a multi view drawing. Multi view drawing, we have our front view, top view, we have our right side view, and we have a pictorial isometric what it looks like in 3D. We're going to begin with our front view right here. Begin with our front view and we're going to draw this first bottom rectangle that you see down here. Okay? We're going to reference this drawing so make sure that you have it next to you. We're also going to be talking about additive and subtractive modeling as we go through and we create this little bump up here for our block and this little cutout right here for our part. Okay, this is the U-block. Drawing next to me, I'm going to open up my inventor. I'm going to reference my drawing. I'm going to see it on a screen like this. You're going to have the sheet next to you. I'm going to come up to the ribbon bar in the top. I'm going to select New, Standard IPT, and click Create. Once this loads up, I'm going to go up to my ribbon bar at the top, and I'm going to select the icon of the drawing with the green plus mark. I'm going to choose my XY plane. Remember, we're always drawing on an XY plane. And click front in our world view cube. That's the way we start off every single drawing. Now, taking a look at that part, this bottom rectangle right here coming around is 2.5 for my horizontal width and 0.75 for my vertical height. So that's my first initial rectangle that I'm going to be making. Go back to your part. I'm going to select my rectangle tool. I can tell it's selected because you see it highlighted up here. I'm going to bring my cursor down to the origin. I'm going to make my cursor go on top of the origin and snap onto a green dot. Then I'm going to click and stretch out a rectangle. I'm still going to leave this out here so that I can have those edit dimension boxes that are still up. Once again, referencing my drawing, I have 2.5 for my horizontal, 0.75 right here for my vertical height. Cursor in the top right hand corner, I'm going to enter in a dimension of 2.5 for my horizontal. Press the tab key. I'm going to enter in 0.75 for my vertical height and press return or enter on the keyboard. I'm still holding on to my rectangle. You can see that because it's highlighted here. I'm going to press the escape key on the keyboard to let go of that. Next, I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner of my screen and I'm going to select finish sketch, the green check mark in the upper right hand corner. And of course, I'm going to select from my world view cube, I'm going to select that little home button that's here. Then we're going to take a look and we're going to extrude to give this part depth. But taking a look at our drawing, so I have this bottom rectangle right here drawn. I need to find out how deep this is going to go back. And I can find that two places here on the drawing. I can find it here where it is dimensioned as four inches from the front to the back. And on the right side view, I can see it right here as well from the front to the back with this dimension, it's four inches. So we're gonna extrude this four inches. On my drawing, I'm gonna click extrude up at the top in the ribbon bar. Now notice this arrow that's pointing to us. We want that to go in a flip direction, so we're going to flip it the other way to make it go in a opposite direction. And I'm going to enter in a distance here of 4 inches. Once you have flip direction selected and 4 inches typed in, click OK. And of course now we're going to go home again. Okay, that's the bottom part of our U block. Now we're going to take and we're going to do some additive modeling where we're going to take and make this rectangle on the top. Okay, this part that's up here, the little step. We can see a couple places for dimensions here. For example, the width of it I can see is 1.5 from this dimension here and the height is 0.75. I can also see my height of that as 0.75 listed here and the width of it is 1.5 listed here. So it's dimensioned multiple times on your drawing. We just need to look for it. 
So 1.5 for the horizontal, 0.75 for the vertical. Go back to your part drawing. We're going to take a 2D sketch. We're going to place this on the right side view. I know this is the right side view because my world view cube up here, I have front right here that matches this portion. I have the right, which matches this side. And I have the top, which matches this surface. Okay, so I'm going to place my drawing 2D sketch on the right side view. Okay, and you can click right in your world view cube to zoom in or to center it on your screen. Now with my rectangle tool again, I'm going to start in this upper right hand corner up here. When I bring my cursor right to that intersection, it's going to snap onto that intersection and turn into a green dot. Make sure you have the green dot selected or located, and then when you do, click and stretch out a rectangle. Once again, that dimension is 1.5. Press the tab key. And my vertical dimension is 0.75. Once you have 1.5 for the horizontal, 0.75 for the vertical dimension, press return or enter on the keyboard. Okay, now we're starting to look more and more like that part. Let's green check mark, finish sketch. Okay, now we're going to take this rectangle and we're going to extrude, extrude it going all the way across the part. So let's take a look at our drawing. So this rectangle is what we have right now. We got the basic shape and now we need for it to go across the whole entire part. So what is that dimension that we're going to be typing in? Well, if you take a look in two places here, I have 2.5 for the width of that part. I have it listed here and you can also find it up here on the top view. 2.5 going across from right to left. So now let's select our extrude from the ribbon bar at the top. Okay, and notice how this is obviously not going the correct way. We have the arrow pointing to the right. We need this part to extrude going back the other way. So we're going to select our flipped option for our direction. And we're going to enter into a dimension of 2.5. So right here in this box where it says distance A, enter 2.5. And click OK. Okay, that's really starting to look good, really starting to look like that U-block part. Now, down here on this bottom step, there's a little cutout that's in here. Let's take a look at that. This little cutout that goes on top of here, we're going to take and have to draw that. It's going to be with the rectangle tool again. And my horizontal dimension that I'm going to enter in is listed right here as 1 inch. And the vertical height is listed right here as 2 inches. So this is a 1 inch horizontal two inch vertical rectangle. Okay, going back to my part drawing, I'm going to take my picture of the 2D, I'm sorry, the icon of the 2D sketch, which is the drawing with the green plus mark. Click on that. And I'm going to place that drawing, that 2D sketch on this bottom step of my U block. When it highlights red, click to select it. And I'm going to click top in my world view cube to zoom all. Okay, I could also use the magnifying glass piece of paper on the right hand side to click that. That ends up being a little larger. Click top view. You can also use the wheel on your mouse to kind of roll in a little bit if you so wish. Okay, now I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I'm going to come down to the bottom of my part. I'm going to get locked on to that bottom line. It's going to highlight red and it may turn back to black. Once I get that to highlight like that, I'm going to click and stretch out my rectangle. Now once again, that horizontal dimension was 1. Press the tab key. My vertical dimension is 2. Type that in and press enter or return on the keyboard. Okay, we have that part on there. But taking a look at this part, I'm going to click or press the escape key to let go of the rectangle tool. And it's no longer highlighted up here. Taking a look at this part, you can see that I'm not quite centered on there. From right to the rectangle we just drew, from the left to the rectangle we just drew, this part is not even, and this needs to be centered. So let's take a look at our drawing. It's totally centered right in between this part on the bottom step. So taking a look at my drawing and reading this multi-view drawing, I can see that I have need to be 0.75 inches from the right-hand side to where this rectangle starts. So we're going to need to add a dimension. This dimension locates that rectangle from the side. So up at the top, I'm going to find my dimension tool from the ribbon bar at the top. I'm going to find my dimension tool. OK, 
Okay, with it highlighted, I'm going to come over and I'm going to touch the right hand side of my part. When that line turns red, I'm going to click. I'm going to bring my cursor over. Now it has a dimension on it and that's okay. I'm going to keep coming across until I reach the right hand side of my rectangle. When that turns red, I'm going to click and bring down this dimension. Now whatever this dimension is for you, we're going to change it to 0.75 and that's going to center it from right to left. And then you can either green check mark here or you can press enter on your keyboard. Okay, now that we have it centered, we need to cut that out and that's going to be done with our extrude tool. So first let's go up to the top, green check mark, finish sketch. We're going to extrude. Now we need to find out how far we're going to extrude. So we can see that this is cut all the way through, cut all the way through. We need to find a dimension for how deep this is. And we look at that in two different places here. This dimension we can see from the top of that bottom step to the bottom of the part is 0.75. You can also see it over here from this top of the step to the bottom of the part is 0.75. So that's our extrude depth. Click extrude. It should automatically pick up your rectangle that you drew. But you can see here that our arrow is pointing the wrong way. We're adding material and we want to cut it away. This is the subtractive part of it. So what I want to do is I want to flip this over. Now I'm on to the cut. I also want to make sure that this button here, which is cut, is depressed as well. And then I'm going to change my dimension here in distance A to 0.75. Once you enter in 0.75, you have the flip direction and you have the cut shown. Okay, it should give you a little preview of what it looks like here. Click OK. Okay, and that looks awesome. That looks just like our part. Let's give this a little flash and we're going to go up to the top where it says default. We're going to click on that pull down menu right up here at the top and let's go down and we are going to find orange. Okay, so I click that default at the top, scroll down to find orange, click orange and now we have that part drawn. Okay, and you can see from our multi-view drawing it matches really well. Perfect in fact. Now let's save this before we move on. Let's go up to the orange file in the top left hand corner of your screen. We're going to go down to save as. Remember we're doing a save as. And this is going to go into your H drive. That's your first initial last name 000. If that does not automatically show up, you're going to click on this box and you're going to go all the way down to the bottom to where you have your first initial last name and your email there along with the gray box and the green line underneath of it. Okay? We're going to change the file name. Click in the box down here and we're going to change the file name to U, U block. Okay, so we have U block entered in there and then click save. Okay, awesome. Now, take a look at our part drawing again. Take a look at our part drawing again. We can see that we totally matched up with this and we learned how to read a multi view drawing. We learned about front view top view, right side view, pictorial isometric, how to get our dimensions for our parts. We also took care of additive modeling, which is where we added this little step up here on the top. We also talked about subtractive modeling, where we cut out this shape up here, and we cut that away. Okay, you ready to move on to the next drawing? It was great working with you today, and we'll see you in class.